This year, Laila got the highest marks among the students in her school. In Pakistan, if you're a woman and a Christian wishing to get into university, you have to be the best. Years ago, her father almost died in an attack. And what sin did he commit? That of being a Christian. From that day on, his life became a nightmare. He was able to leave the country first by going to Libya and then to Italy, where he obtained political asylum. I remained, however, says Lila, because this is my home and I want to make my country a better place. I know that Dad will also come back one day. This year, the women of Kushpur, Pakistan, are the beneficiaries of the Solidarity of St. Anthony's Charities, the non-profit organisation set up by the Friars of the Basilica of St. Anthony in Padua that has been sponsoring charitable and development projects around the world for the past 40 years. Pakistan is a majority Muslim country where it's not easy to practice another religion. To protect minorities, the Ministry of Minorities Affairs was created, headed by Shahbaz Bhatti, who was born in Kushpur. Shahbaz dedicated his whole life to fight for equality, religious freedom and the rights of minorities. He fought right to the end, to his own martyrdom. He was assassinated because of his efforts on the 2nd of March 2011. But his ideas did not die with him. They continued to live in people of all faiths who believe in peace. Paul, Shahabat's brother, has accompanied Father Giancarlo Zamengo, General Director of the Messenger of St. Anthony, around his hometown. Paul, who has taken up the legacy of human rights activism and hope from his brother Shahabat's, is our point of reference in the realization of this new great project of solidarity and development in Kushpur. We will build here a center for vocational training dedicated to women because women are the real hope for the future in this country. We discovered this in meeting Malala, the Nobel Peace Prize winner, and in meeting Laila, Sharona, Sana, Camila, Rose, and the many other women of Kushpur involved in constructing a better future for their children and families. In this new centre for vocational training, many women, be they Christian or Muslim, will be able to learn a trade, work and set up independent professions with the help of microcredit. And now getting this project on name of St. Anthony will be real news of happiness and support to women of Kushpur. We are sure that this centre will be seen as a miracle by St. Anthony. We understood this by looking at the veneration that people here have for the saint. We entrust the needs of their families to Him. The saint is a presence that guards and protects their best dreams and hopes. But this is a miracle that, to come true, needs your contribution.